Hello Internet, welcome back to our tessellation shader. So, in this video we are going to be actually tessellating our mesh. Uh, so what we have right now is we have modified our displacement mapped mesh so it doesn't actually do any displacing at all. Instead what it's doing is it is mapping to a texture the displacement that should happen uh, so you can see as these spheres hit our mesh, they draw white lines. And those white lines are our displacement mesh, or they're our displacement map. Uh, we've mapped our displacement map onto the actual thing that's rendering, mostly for debugging. Uh, but that won't be the end result. This is just sort of a demo. So what we have right now is all these white lines. The idea is that those will actually be physical indents into our mesh. And so how we're going to accomplish that is we have our tessellation shader, which looks like this. And so we need to implement this displacement method. Uh, so this is actually going to accept some app data as the input. Specifically, it's going to take this. And so the easiest way to do this is actually do rv.vertex dot x, y, z, and we're going to actually plus equals our normal times our displacement, like that. And so all this is going to do as sort of a test is it's going to take the displacement amount that we are going to uh, plug in, and then it's going to take the normal of that current vertex and it's going to exp or move that vertex that that far along the normal, and then more or less it's going to allow us to raise or lower our mesh, or it's going to break. <laughs> so oh, we need to actually use v.normal because the normal doesn't exist. Uh, so that should fix our compiler errors. Undeclared identifier displacement amount. I believe that's because, no, because it's down there. So if I move it up, what happens? There we go. Okay. Why can't I move? There we go. So as you saw, when it finished compiling, our mesh moved up. Uh, we can actually play around with that. We've got uh, this displacement amount value. You can't, you can't see that. Let's kick it up a bit. So we have a displacement amount here. So what I can do is actually just modify this by moving it up or moving it down. And this isn't moving our mesh. Our mesh is staying where it is. But when we render it, we're telling our vertex shader to move every vertex up by, or we're actually telling it to move it down 0.14 units. Uh, so when our graphics card is the one doing this, the position of our object isn't changing. This is all happening in our vertex shader. Uh, so we can do a bunch of fun stuff with this. We're gonna do displacement stuff with this, but you can do pretty much anything you want. So. Uh, our displacement, I think we're going to use negative 0.1, just because that's what we've been playing with in the past. And so the only other thing we really need to do is, this uh, This isn't too hard, we just need to actually look up in our texture what we need. Uh, so the easy way is just copy what we had below. So let's take our displacement map and we'll accept the v texture coordinate dot x, y. And I think we can actually just accept the texture coordinate. And then we'll just take the r value of that. And that will be our displacement. And then we just add that in as part of our, our function. So we're moving along the normal of a maximum of our, of our displacement amount, and we're using the red value from our mesh, or from our 
from our texture to accomplish this. And so that should just look it up and should, nope. Okay, can't use that. Oh, uh, why not? So that function does not appear to exist. Hmm. That 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 throws a wrench into our plans. <laughs> How do we do this? Uh, I think I'm going to need to refer to our manual because I do not. I'm not familiar as much with the the shader functions, the built-in Unity shader functions, as I am with the C sharp language. Uh, so I, I'm gonna have to go and check. So one sec. I'm probably just gonna copy and paste some code in, and then we'll go from there. So. I will see you guys in like a second because editing is awesome. <laughs> okay, so I, I went to actually where I was looking up the other tessellation shader stuff that we got this initial template from, and they already had one that was doing displacement. So I figured we'd just bring that in, and then I'll we'll walk through what it's actually supposed to be doing, and then we can we can go from there. So this is what they are doing. It's actually, it's fairly similar to what we had. They are calculating a displacement. They called it D. And then they're using a texture 2D LOD, passing in the displacement texture, and then the texture coordinates. I think that's where we went wrong. So if we do float four here instead and use the XY positions from our texture coordinate, which should be our UV. And then we add in a zero, zero, just for good measure. And then what they added is they were actually multiplying their displacement amount in already. We just kind of moved it down here. So it was all part of that final function, but I think that should fix it. So let's, no, no, that doesn't fix it. What, what is this error? To the Google, ah, right. So you know that time when you think something's irrelevant, so you kind of ignore it and then you come back to it and you realize that it was actually the cause of your problems. Turns out there's a reason why they use text 2D LOD instead of just text 2D. Cause this one works. <laughs> so if we use that, we should be able to actually get our mesh to deform because we now have everything we needed. Ooh, yes, it is definitely working. Uh, so what, the reason this is, we're getting what we're getting, ooh, that looks a little bit funky. Uh, so the reason we're getting this is because I took, um, what am I talking about? We are displacing based on our depth map, which is moving things down. This is, and I assume the reason we're getting these spikes is because we are displacing one of our triangles and not the other one. So it's kind of doing that fun spiky thing. Don't know if that's good. Don't particularly like that, but everything else is working. So let's ignore the issues for now and actually fix some things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this main texture. We don't need that anymore. Uh, that was just overriding it so we could actually see the main texture rendered. Uh, we don't, this way we can actually use an actual texture instead of something else. So let's plug in a checkerboard. I don't want to do that. That would be a mistake. I was thinking of changing the the UV coordinates. We definitely don't want to do that because that will change how our displacement map is mapped to our object and that will move these so they are not correct. So we are getting all sorts of spikes, but it is very difficult to tell what is actually going on because things are shaded and I am having trouble figuring out what. Oh, we're getting some weird like 
hex pattern. Okay, so that's what's happening. That's gross. Uh, so the issue here is things aren't tessellated linearly. So like here, we're getting these groupings of multiple different faces. So instead of just having a, a quad where you have one triangle and then another one and they both kind of come together, here you've got all these other ones and they're all plugging into each other. And my video went away. Shit. Okay, sorry about that. My camera died. <laughs> I'm still, so you may not have noticed, I got a new camera and I'm still, still experimenting with it. I kind of broke the first video I recorded with it, which was a mistake. But anyway, this one has batteries. And that means I can't just keep recording videos. I need to actually charge it in between things. Not bad. <laughs> so going back to this, I, I'm going to pick up where I left off and we'll, we'll use the magic of editing to fix it. So the reason we're getting all of these spikes is because Instead of having a quad where you have two triangles connecting, you have a bunch of triangles connecting and it's kind of just all piecemeal and it's all, all coming together in weird ways. Like it, it is kind of quads-ish, but it's not really because you get like this weird bit here where things all kind of come together in weird spots. And so that's why we're getting all of these spikes because these are the parts where it comes together weird. And they just so happen to be the vertices along along where our our lines are. And because we have such high resolution on our image, we're missing we're missing some of those. So unfortunately, the only fix for this is either to increase the tessellation or decrease the resolution of our displacement map. So I'll drop that down to 64. And I think we'll find that that should fix it. Or at least make it better. Uh, this isn't going to be... Uh, it didn't really fix it, did it? No, it didn't. Oops. <laughs> All right. Well, that's kind of weird. I mean, I, I get why it's happening. I just don't like it. <laughs> so... Anyway, I guess, I guess that's the, well, so really this shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem because we will be fixing this. Uh, eventually we're going to have some smoothing here. So it, it's sort of a smoother indent. We haven't gotten that far yet. So we haven't done that, but eventually that, that is on the, our, on our roadmap. But if I start messing with this desolation, we can actually kind of fix it with some increased uh, tessellation. I don't really know what that does, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, so if I reduce the, if I increase this edge length, it, it kind of makes the problem worse. But if I reduce it to a significant amount, we get something like this, which looks all right. So Either way, I think we've kind of got displacement mapping working. As you can see, there's there's some work to be done. You kind of get weird artifacts when it doesn't work perfectly, especially when we're doing such absolute things. It's either a zero or one in our case, and that is kind of causing some weird issues. Uh, if we had some smoothing around it, it would be it would be significantly better. We're just we just don't have that, uh, so we're stuck kind of dealing with these kind of problems. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it here. And if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. I'm, I'm really curious what you guys like and what you don't like. I, it's hard for me to judge uh, just sitting here kind of thinking, oh, that'd be cool. Uh, so it's really it's really nice when you guys say, oh, that was helpful or I really enjoyed that because then I can, I can do more of that. Uh, so if this is something you wanna see more of, let me know and I will put it on my list. Uh, if not, let me know about that too, and I'll, I'll pick something else. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, let me know. Shoot. Battery exhausted. Well, well then, 
my camera just died. So I'll talk to this screen. Ah, great. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments. And until next time, see you, internet.